Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divers Ready. This Mouthpiece Monday, we are talking buoyancy compensating devices or BCDs. We're gonna be giving you the pros and cons of the backplate and wing style versus the traditional jacket style BCD. So roll intro. My name's James and I am a professional dive instructor and digital content creator. And we make videos on this channel with one simple goal in mind, to help make you a better scuba diver. So if you haven't done so already, if you're new here, welcome. Please consider hit that subscribe button and click the little bell icon and that way you'll never miss any of our content. So we just got back from Bimini in the Bahamas. Uh, if you saw last week's video, you know that we reviewed this exact BCD here, the Cressy Travel Light, and we've got more footage coming from the Bahamas in the weeks ahead. But I thought it'd be kind of a nice part two or a follow up um, based on the comments that you guys were leaving on the video that we dropped last week to do kind of a compare and contrast between what I usually dive for recreational diving, which is this exact setup here, back plate and wing, compared to what I dove in Bimini, which was this lovely lightweight travel BCD. And then at the end of this video, I'm gonna be giving you my one biggest piece of advice if you're looking to invest in your first ever buoyancy compensating device. No matter which style of BCD you choose, they're both essentially designed to do the same thing. They want to give you positive buoyancy on the surface, i.e. allow you to float. Time to float. When you need to remain on the surface and then help you achieve neutral buoyancy when you're under the water enjoying your dives. So let's dive straight in with five things that both the backplate and wing setup and the jacket style BCD have in common. Both styles of BCD feature an enclosed bladder, which is designed to trap the right amount of gas that you need for each part of the dive. The jacket style BCD does that by having a bladder that extends down the sides and around the front of you, kind of like a piggyback hug. Whereas on the wing component of a backplate and wing, you have either a donut or a horseshoe shaped bladder, and all of the gas that is in the wing is located behind you. We'll talk more about this a little bit later on, but needless to say, when you're on the surface, I generally prefer a jacket style, particularly when I'm teaching recreational courses and I need to talk and listen to my students on the surface. This one gives me more support in an upright position. Next similarity between these two different styles is that they both feature pretty much the same inflator control device. So you have a power inflator for both that has an inflate button and a deflate button. And you also have a mouthpiece here where you can orally inflate the wing or the jacket. Worth noting that no matter if you choose a backplate and wing or a jacket style or whichever brand you choose, the button closest to you is always the inflate button and the button furthest away from you as you're holding it is always the deflate button. Similarity number three is that they both have fastening devices to attach the BCD to your body so it doesn't go floating away mid-dive, obviously. Uh, jacket style BCDs, that's usually achieved with four pinch clips. You have one around the waist, one across the chest, and one on each shoulder. Whereas on a backplate and wing style BCD, you have two pieces of two inch webbing, one piece that forms both the shoulder straps and the waist strap, and the second piece which forms a crotch strap that hangs between the legs, and they are all secured together by an old school weight belt style buckle. Both the backplate and wing and the jacket style BCD also feature some way to attach the scuba cylinder to the buoyancy compensating device, and they achieve that the same way with tank bands. So in the case of the backplane wing in this particular setup, I've got two tank bands on here, whereas the Cressy Travel Light BCD has one solid tank band and then another kind of support, support backup Velcro strap, which I wouldn't trust with my life at all. Um, you'll see other versions that just have one single tank band. It really doesn't make too much difference as long as one can hold the jacket to the tank, that's pretty much all you need. Often with a backplate and wing setup, you need to buy an additional single tank adapter, which is a strip of metal that the tank bands actually thread through that hold all the pieces together. So as well as holding your tank securely, your BCD also needs to be able to hold all the accessories you wanna take with you when you're diving. You can't be scuba diving around a reef holding your SMB and your reel and your camera and your cutting device in your hands, that would look ridiculous. So you need to think about what accessories you take diving with you and then choose a BCD that's suitable and that you can mount or attach all of those accessories to. So both of these styles have D-rings all over, particularly on the shoulder straps and on the waist straps. 
which you can clip anything to. Uh, but the jacket style BCD also features one large pocket on each side with a zipper on the top, which will secure any accessories. When I dive a back plate and wing, I have a very particular way of storing my accessories around uh, to make them as streamlined as possible and to watch my trim, because I don't want to be looking like a Christmas tree or a one-man band with the one of hanging off of me when I'm underwater. So lots of similarities there. Neither BCD is particularly more expensive than the other one. Uh, you can spend as much or as little money on either as you choose. Neither BCD is safer than the other one. Neither BCD is particularly sexier than the other one. Probably the biggest difference between a backplate and wing setup and a jacket style BCD are that the backplate and wing is a modular system that can be customized to different kinds of missions, whereas the jacket BCD is a single piece. If you want to buy a jacket BCD, you walk into your dive shop, you get fitted for it like an article of clothing. They're sold in t-shirt sizes and you buy it and you walk out the shop with a single piece. The backplate wing is modular. It's actually made of three basic components. You have the backplate itself, which is normally stainless steel or aluminium. You have a harness, which is normally two inch webbing uh, that comes in a kit normally with all the hardware that you need, D-rings and, and buckles and so on. And then you have the wing. Now this wing in particular is a single tank 40 pound wing from Apex. It's actually designed for public safety diving. And then you have other accessories you can put on. So for example, the single tank adapter, the tank bands, if you want to dive it from a single tank, you can add weight pockets, but then you could also take it to pieces and customize it for different types of diving. So for example, I could use this same harness, but switch out the back plate for an aluminum back plate, which is lighter, and then use my 18 pound travel wing, which is smaller and lighter and use it as a travel setup or I can keep the stainless steel backplate with the harness and pair it with my 60 pound, huge, massive, redundant tech diving wing and use it to dive doubles. The jacket style BCD is designed for recreational diving and recreational diving only. It's designed to carry one single tank at a time. You can't add stage bottles to this. You can't dive doubles with it. Trying to do so is a massive mistake. So if you want to future proof yourself, if you think you're going to go into technical diving in the future, if you think you're ready, then I would definitely recommend you look at the backplate and wing setup because you can keep the backplate, keep the harness and just buy a tech wing and swap them out based on the type of diving that you're doing. Probably the next major difference is comfort. People will ask me all the time, don't those screws stick in your back on a back? Well, no, they don't because I don't have a concave back. Uh, but I have caught my rash guard on them and my wetsuit a couple of times. When I find a minute, I can actually cut those bolts down and make them a little bit shorter so they don't protrude so much. But undoubtedly the winner here in comfort is the jacket style BCD. Look at that plush, lovely back plate and all this nice cushioning here. It just feels like you're being hugged while you're diving. So if comfort is an issue to you and you don't intend to do the tech diving and you don't need the modularity of a back plane wing setup, definitely have a look at the jacket style BCD. Difference number three is storage. Now, as I mentioned, when we were discussing similarities, the jacket style BCD comes with nice big pockets. The backplate and wing does not. I can still use the backplate and wing and mount all the essential accessories I take whenever I'm doing a recreational fun diving on this system. But if I need to carry anything more, for example, instructor slates, skill slates, or for example, a mesh bag, if we're doing a reef cleanup dive, then I would favor a jacket style BCD because it's got those pockets and I can take those additional items securely. The next major difference between these two is dumpable weights. Now it's 2019, so nobody really should be using a weight belt anymore, please. But you still need weight to help you get under the water. So integrated weight systems are a must. On the Cressy BCD, you've got two options. You've got these weight pockets in the front, which are dumpable in the event of an emergency. And you have trim pockets in the back, which are not dumpable, but you can put a small amount of weight in there and that will help you to trim out and spread the weight around your setup. On the backplate and wing, you don't get any options automatically for integrated weights, but you can buy pocket systems that you can attach directly to the backplate here, which work in exactly the same fashion as these integrated weights, the dumpable pouches, um, and tie them on. You can do that. I find that with the steel back plate and just a small amount of weight in the trim pockets in the back, I don't need any additional lead for the types of diving that I do here in South Florida. Now, if I was cold water diving in a dry suit, that would be a different story. But we're going to talk about trim and weighting in an upcoming video, so I'm going to save that one for later.
The fifth difference between these two different styles of BCD is sizing and how you're fitted for them. As I mentioned earlier, jacket style BCD is fitted like a t-shirt, small, medium, large, extra large, extra small, extra, extra large. And they are adjustable to a certain extent. You have uh, sliders on the shoulder straps and sliders on the waist straps. So you can enlarge or tighten to your heart's content and get somewhat of a customizable fit. On the other hand, sizing on a back plate and wing is highly adjustable because you have one single piece of webbing that's thread all the way through the back plate. And although this back plate and wing is sized for me right now, I could easily tighten these shoulder straps up and pull the waistband straps in and it would fit someone much smaller than my gigantic frame. So that obviously has implications if you ever want to sell your gear on again, uh, but it also makes it highly customizable. I don't understand why parents don't get their junior open water divers more accustomed to a backplate wing style where they can get one backplate, one wing, and then just adjust the harness as the child grows. I think that's an excellent idea. But no, I still see parents buying children jacket style BCDs and they start off with like a kid's small to uh, adult extra small, to an adult small, to an adult medium, to an adult large or whatever. And then they end up going through like five BCDs in seven years. It doesn't make any sense to me, but anyway. So that's your basic overview of a jacket style BCD versus a backplate wing in terms of its features. But how do they actually dive? What makes them different in the water? Now with a jacket BCD, what you wanna be careful of is when you're underwater and you've compensated your buoyancy and you've added a little bit of air to your jacket is that you don't get a bob on. And what I mean by that is that if you roll to one side to look for your buddy or to look at a pretty fish or whatever it may be, all the gas can rush to one side of the jacket and you can end up rolling over and bobbing like a turtle on its back. Um, and it can just generally throw off your trim and make you feel less balanced in the water. A backplate and wing style is a hell of a lot easier to get used to from a trim point of view because all the gas wants to be behind you and as soon as you've submerged and you've got your neutral buoyancy under control, all that gas in the donut is free to circulate around the wing and wants to be at the highest point keeping you in a nice horizontal plane. So anytime you lean to look at something or turn your head to look at your buddy, it wants to immediately right you again and that's very comfortable. I had a recreational student not that long ago who started out his course and did most of the confined dives in a jacket style BCD. For reasons I won't get into here, halfway through the course, we switched him over to a backplate and wing style and it was like a load taken off of his shoulders. He instantly got it, his trim leveled out and everything was looking really, really good underwater with really minimal effort from the student because this wants you to be in the right position for scuba diving, whereas sometimes you can get into a bit of a fight with a jacket. For cold water diving, I definitely want to be using my backplate and wing setup. The main reason for that is that the stainless steel backplate, which is heavy, is going to offset the total amount of weight I need for my dry suit, which means I'm going to need to use less lead. And the same can't be said for a jacket style BCD. Now, for wreck diving, I also prefer the backplate and wing setup. And the reason for that is because it doesn't put anything in front of you. It doesn't add any bulk to your chest or to your hips, to your waistband, like this big chunk of pockets do. And that keeps me more streamlined and gives me a better sense of the total amount of space that I'm taking up underwater and allows me to get into those tight engine rooms and through the tiny gaps that I want to do when I'm exploring the inside of a wreck. So pretty much all technical divers, cave divers and uh, wreck exploration divers would prefer a backplate and wing setup undoubtedly. But if you're looking to buy your first BCD and you're wondering if style A or style B is right for you, the best way to find out is to try both of them. So my single biggest piece of advice for anyone looking to invest in their first buoyancy compensating device is to go down to your local dive shop, see what they rent, ask if they've got the other style to try out too, see if they do any gear demo days or try before you buy days where you can take a jacket style BCD for a, for a spin and a backplate and wing style for a spin. And then you can at least see which style you like best and then narrow down you know, your budget, and which brand you wanna buy, and so on and all the little additional features but really the core decision needs to be do I want style A or style B and what type of diving am I going to be using it for so go out there try both styles and see which one you have the most fun with don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already just over here I'm going to put a playlist with all of our other gear based videos and below that will be our series of mouthpiece Monday videos until next time my name's James this was your divers ready video for this week dive safe dive often